Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to go through Azure DevOps MCP server. Uh, it's in public review. So Microsoft released this a couple of weeks ago. What it does is basically it helps uh, GitHub Copilot in your Visual Studio or Visual Studio code. Uh, it can access and interact with your Azure DevOps environment, right? And it can interact with work items, pull requests, projects, builds, whatever releases, wiki pages, etc. Uh, before before moving forward, let's understand first what is MCP server, right? Uh, so it's uh, a local MCP server that is model context provider. It's a kind of a tool, right? That's between your uh, AI assistant like GitHub Copilot and uh, Azure DevOps organization, right? So what it does it it basically injects uh, rich and real time context uh, such as work items, uh, pull requests, test plan, etc. into the prompts that are sent to the AI what it does is it helps uh, lets the assistant give you better and more accurate and relevant answers tailored to that specific as your dev project uh, this is the github link uh, i'll show you how to install and what needs to be done uh, this is the github link uh, you can find it in the description below let's go to it yeah so this is the github repository showing if you want to contribute you can contribute to it as well uh, it's, yeah this is how you can install but uh, let's scroll a bit down yes before installing make sure yeah you have like vs code or vs code insiders uh, it works on node.js so node.js 20 plus is required and azure cli so that it can help you to authenticate to your azure devs or organization right? you can use it in empty folder or existing projects as well uh, so not necessarily it needs to be an empty folder so first uh, ensure that you are logged in so make sure you go to from terminal make sure you are logged in i'm using it in existing project it's like a devops general generator this is my project uh, so make sure after you're logged in uh, just click on this and it will ask you where does it want to open and once it opens then basically okay, let me show you it will open yes and then you have to click on install i've already installed it uh, so i'm not going to do it again yes so that's how uh, it will get installed and then uh, you will have to in if, if it's your existing project or new project you'll have to create two folders that is dot vs code and dot github if it doesn't exist if it exists under .vs code, uh, create mcp.json file. You can get the contents from here. Uh, just copy the entire content as is and paste it here. Right? That's the first step. And another step is uh, you'll have to get this copilot instructions file. This is the file. Copy this entirely. You can copy this content from here. And uh, under GitHub, create copilot instructions and paste the entire content as is in here. Right. So, what needs to be replaced is uh, you have to change this uh, organization. So, the name of the organization. Where can you find your Azure DevOps name organization? So, when you open your Azure DevOps, you can select organization. If you have multiple organizations, you can select those. I think I have just one. I'm going with this. So, you can create uh, Cloud XP or it will ask you. So, you can input it and that's how it will work. Right. Once uh, once this is done, uh, make sure then click on the start. And yeah, if there are no issues, it will start running. And then go to this copilot. Yes. And make sure you are in agent mode in here. You have to select agent mode. And you should be ready to interact with your Azure DevOps. So and one of the major thing is uh, unlike cloud based solutions uh, a local mcp server it runs inside your network uh, and development environment it depends on how you are configured it so that means it safely accesses your private data and tools uh, without that data ever leaving your system so so let's interact with our azure devops so how you can interact so uh, you can naturally ask like uh, get list of ADO projects and it will interact 
friends with it along the session. Yeah, so you have had five projects that are showing up. Yeah, these are the five projects we are showing up. Yes, you can go get those in there. Okay. Uh, then you can also yes, this project, let's see. So there are three teams in this project. So it interacts with this and it helps you. Yeah, there are three teams, right? And then also you can get like iterations. How many screens are there, right? Or you can ask it. Interact. Yeah. So yes, there are six friends in our project. Let's go in here just to verify. I mean, I know it's going to work. Six friends and currently yeah. So there are six friends. So that's how you can interact. You can edit work items. Uh, you can retrieve them, edit them. You can get uh, all the backlogs. So that's how this NC server helps to interact with your Azure DevOps organization straight away from your VS code. If you have any suggestions, recommendations, if you need any help, uh, feel free to reach out to me or post in comments. I'll try to reply them back and help you. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.